Well, one British biotech firm is using its expertise to contain the disease, and it's turning to genetic modification. Oxitec is mating sterile male mosquitoes with virus-carrying females, and early results are promising. I spoke to the CEO, Hayden Parry, about the possibilities and pitfalls of his approach. It works in the area in which you work, so it's very controlled, um, and it's extraordinarily effective. So in all our trials, we've reduced the population by over 90% um, these... in a very short space of time. Now, these trials have predominantly been in Brazil. So what are some of the initial results that you're seeing so far? Well, what we've shown in Brazil is that um, within a six-month period, we can reduce the population of mosquitoes, this particular one that spreads dengue, chikungunya, and Zika, by over 90% within six months. And that's a very consistent result to get across all the trials we've done. Now, one of the things people are concerned about is the population coming back again, even with it being cold over this length of time. So what's the longer-term solution? Well, the longer-term solution is to keep the mosquito population under control, so to get it down from a very high level and then to keep it low. So with our solution, you can do both things, actually. You can reduce the population down to a very low trace level, and then just by releasing a small number of males over a period of time, if any females come back into the area, then they'll be mated and you won't have that um, upswing in numbers. So this is a long-term solution. Now, in terms of the other sorts of research that having trials like this could take on, where else could we see this leading? Well, this could be, be used in really very large-scale uh, implementations. You could see this, this approach being used in very large cities to control mosquito populations. The trouble is now what people use is chemicals, um, which are very ineffective, hence the, hence the problems we have today. Um, and these chemicals are used on a very frequent basis among cities all over the world. So with our technology, using a biological approach, we could have a similar sort of style, which is let's control um, the mosquito population, but we'd be a lot more effective. And do you think it's possible that using this technique to wipe out all mosquito-borne illnesses? Um, I think that's a far stretch. I think what we would say is that you can certainly, with our approach, protect a city, protect a large area, uh, protect a town from the mosquito that spreads dengue, chikungunya and Zika. Um, I think we could also apply our technology against malaria, the malaria-bearing mosquitoes, Anopheles. But you, you wouldn't try and eradicate because the mosquito will only fly a short distance. So you really will focus your approach to dense urban areas where the threat is the greatest. Now, what about people who have some ethical concerns? For example, why not let nature take its course? Why not perhaps let, let birds or other sorts of um, predators for mosquitoes take control as opposed to introducing something foreign? Well, the first thing I'd say is that with our mosquito, it doesn't actually stay in the environment. So every single male we put out there only does one of two things. It either finds a female, mates, in which case the offspring die and it dies, or it doesn't find a female, in which case it dies anyway. So actually our approach doesn't stay in the environment. I think the issue really is that over the years, we have been faced with a succession of very important and very unpleasant mosquito-borne viruses. A dengue fever, then chikungunya, now Zika virus. And the, 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 the toll on human health is really quite intolerable. And we need new tools to work with. And I think this is a very effective one. Now, as with any new tool, obviously it's still in its trial stages, some people could be concerned that by introducing these males, even if they don't live for a long time, that it's possible they could perhaps either make things worse or introduce some sort of new species. What would you say to people who have those concerns? Well, I think the very first thing I would say is that in every single country where we've been working, in Cayman, Panama, Brazil, and also in India, you have to go through a really rigorous, long examination by independent scientists and regulatory bodies before you can import, before you can do trials, before you can release these mosquitoes outdoors. So you have to go through that very rigorous scrutiny, which we have been through. Um, and in fact, in Brazil, we've now got national approval in terms of biosafety, in terms of impact on the environment. I mean, this approach actually, although it's new, is actually a lot safer than what mankind is using at the moment.